طب نجيب so what does change mean to you in in the context of the arab world what does it mean to you i will tell you change would mean to me if everybody sitting here will overturn the governments we have and they will lead this Can will I, be the change i uh, i might have to lead. all of them with the exception of the one here because they seem but to what be does that mean really no my, look look it's cool nagib i i i i am i am on your side on this one but Tell us more. I mean, what does that mean? What, what do we mean by turning government? Why? You, okay. Let, let's let's okay. talk about concrete issues. What is it that bothers you about these governments? Right. It bothers me first, not only the governments. It bothers me all these forces of evil, all these uh, terrorists, the extremists who are taking countries hostages from Lebanon to Palestine to Iran to Iraq, everywhere. It bothers me a lot. Uh, it bothers me that uh, there is disrespect for the rule of law and order in all these countries. It bothers me that uh, Christians are being massacred in Iraq and are being driven from the region. <clears throat> it's a serious thing. I'm also bothered by all these dictators uh, uh, ruling the whole region. I mean, I'm bothered by that. I mean, we look really silly D does compared it bother to the whole world. You know, we don't have any free elections anywhere. Uh, the king lives, the king dies, the president comes, the president goes, you know, nothing changes. Uh, and therefore, I'm saying change will be if all these young people here take, take the lead and they come up with all these good ideas and we help move our countries so when we look at Europe, we look from up to down and not from down to top. 